Hello everybody, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be featuring um, a card using Free as a Bird stamp set. And um, this is an overlay and I'll bring it up to a card base that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Crumb Cake today. But I wanted to just... Um, bring this up here so you can see it easily and this overlay comes from the botanical prints product medley which is on page 61 um, that includes things like these overlays so one side is whisper white and then the other side is pretty peacock I'm just going to stick with the whisper white one today and it also includes um, a DSP pack the dies that go along with this stamp set as well and you also get ribbon and um, the dies also come with standalone uh, items as well such as the these two little um, I'm not sure if you can see that I'll bring it up really close these two little corner pieces and you get a couple of leaves as well so this is a really cool uh, product medley I actually really love it and it also comes with these metallic bees um, you can see them close up there um, really cute, love it, and um, I thought it'd be cool to feature this with a stamp set that's from the annual catalogue. Now, with this stamp set, it unfortunately does not come with dies, so I'm going to do something a little different today. And what I will be using today is the Silhouette Pick Scan Mat. Um, now, I tend to use this only when um, there are no dies available with the Stampin' Up! stamps. So if there's a stamp set here that has absolutely no dies, I'm going to take advantage of my crafting supplies and I'll be using my Silhouette Pick Scan mat. Now that's the mat, that's the way it looks like. So I will show you how to load it up on the machine and everything. Um, it'll be like an overview pretty quick, so I'm not going to over-focus on it. But um, I just thought there's an easy way to, to also cut out these images rather than um, fussy cutting them. I'm not a fan of fussy, fussy cutting, I'm not that great at it. So if I've got uh, a piece of machinery that I can use, I'm going to use it and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that and you can do the same. Now this idea with the pick scan, but from Silhouette, you can also do this same kind of thing with your brother scan and cut and I'm sure a lot of you may have it and if you don't um, yeah, look it up. It's a machine that's basically all in one. It's got a, a built-in scanner and it also cuts. I don't want to uh, spend that kind of money because here in Australia it's worth about $650 um, at Spotlight, which is one of the cheapest prices in Australia. If you want to buy it from elsewhere, you can pay up to $750 for this uh, Brother Scan and Cut. My machine, I've got an old Silhouette model, but that cost me, if you want to buy a brand new one, which is the Silhouette 4, Silhouette Cameo 4, that comes to $3.99 to buy that at the moment. And to buy this pick scan mat only costs you $28.99 and you get a similar effect. So that's what I'll be doing today and I'm, going, and I'm quite happy to show you how I'm going to do that. So to start off with, I'm going to be using Crumb Cake cardstock. I cut my A4 sheet in half, then I scored it in half, but along the, the long side I cut off one quarter inch short. So that's, that's this um, and it complements the overlay quite nicely. Okay, so that, that is what I've done here. So what I'm going to do is just burnish the score line with my bone folder. I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock which will go on the inside and that just layers on from the inside. And then I've got some scrap pieces of cardstock which I'll be using um, to make this card. Now, my battery's already run out of power <laughs> in four minutes. So I'm just going to hook this up onto, some, onto my uh, power and then I'll come back. So just bear with me for one moment. Okay, so I've hooked you up to the power now, so it won't cut out in the middle of filming, which would be great. Alright, so I'm going to grab my Stamparatus, and I'm going to bring out um, my sheet, scrap piece of, um, 
paper there and I'm going to bring out my stamp sets and I'm going to put the images that I want to cut out so I'm going to use quite a few of these stamps so I'm going to do this one the smaller flowers the bird and also these images here little flowers and the leaves and I'm going to um, flip that around because I've got some clear grip on this side and because this is the newer stamps you don't need to use any of that which is fantastic okay so whoops that didn't uptake so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ink all of these images up in soft suede however what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off um, the birds because I don't want the birds for the time being and I'll wipe off the excess there because I'm going to stamp this twice so I'm going to stamp clean that off and then I'm going to stamp it okay um, yeah as you can see here I didn't do 100% of the job but I can also um, mask that off too so just give me a moment I'm going to cut this uh, I'm going to stamp this again actually so just bear with me I just decided to do away with this one but I will keep it for another project another time so I decided to go for grey granite as because I felt that that was a little too dark so I'm going to go for grey granite and it's got like a brown tinge to it anyway so what I'm going to do is just ink up these bottom stamps first and I'm going to ink those up twice and okay just ink that up again and then I'm going to grab another sheet of the same size another scrap piece and I'm going to stamp them twice only because sometimes the machine can be a little bit off but on the whole it does a very good job so I'll show you this anyway step by step All right, so that did a pretty good job. And then I'm going to ink up the one with the birds on this, this one over here. And I'm gonna ink that up once, I think. So what I will do is I'm going to grab a piece of um, painter's tape I'm going to mask off as best we can. Just take out bits I don't need. Um, as best we can, as close as possible to the images we don't want. And I don't want those birds. So we'll ink that up as best we can. And that's all we can do. So just grab that, put that there ink that up in grey granite okay and I'll wipe off what we don't need Um, there are bits that kind of stick up a little bit stick out so I'm just going to grab my blender pen and I'll just get rid of the excess looking of the feet of the birds that we don't need so just clean that up a little bit not a lot okay and we're going to now stamp that down
and that did a pretty good job okay um, and I think I will stamp it again just to be on the safe side so I'll just bring my mask back be as close as possible Do that again. Wipe that off. If you're hearing alarms and what have you, um, yeah, I've got construction going on across the way. I'm sure those who are regular viewers have heard this a million times, but um, if you're new to my channel, I apologize for any noise in advance. Um, yeah, we've got construction going on at the moment, so I cannot um, help that, unfortunately. But they're not too bad today. Okay, and I'll just give that another press to make sure it's a little bit darker. And then we're done. So we're done with the stamping. So what I'm going to do is I am going to now put these on my silhouette scan mat so I'll just leave these on here for the time being and I'll take them off later just so I don't waste time so I'm going to bring my pick scan mat over I'm going to take off the protective sheet I've got top here so I know which side to keep my sticky part on so this is my pick scan mat now I'm going to cut this Oh, not wrong one. Sorry, wrong color. <laughs> I'm going to cut this one. And this one on my mat. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the camera off the tripod that I have and I will be showing you how I do this handheld. So bear with me, I'll set everything up and then we'll get to cutting out these images with my silhouette pick scan mat. So just give me a moment. Okay everyone, so now I've got a view of my computer screen. My apologies, I don't really have the means of showing you via a program unfortunately. So it may be a little shaky, so please bear with me. Uh, what I'll be doing now is I'm going to be uploading this via my scanner on my printer to the uh, computer. So what I'll, you'll see next is bits of my kitchen, <laughs> but um, here is my printer. I've got a Canon. I'm going to place my mat, the shortest part, on my scanner, if you can see that. So you can see that now that my scanner's there. Now you're wondering, well, this is not big enough to fit the scanner as you can see but silhouette are really good so you can use any flatbed scanner you have and you can put the shortest part up where your scanner is supposed to go I'm going to place the lid down and then I'm going to go to my computer program and I'm going to press for the pick scan part here so bring up the pick scan mat Okay, so as you can see there, it has the pick scan mat, and you have the choice of taking a photo. Oops, cancel that. <laughs> now you have a choice of either uploading a photo with your phone or the scanner. Now for me, I'm going to pick the scanner. I'll just use my cursor, I think. Import from scanner, and it gives you your options. I'm going to use that one here and I'm going to put import scan image from scanner and I want it in color and I'm going to press scan. Now what this will do is it will automatically upload half the image and then I'm going to scan again and you can hear my scanner going off now and you'll see the picture come up 
as you can see there. That has now come up. And what the program does is it will automatically uh, stitch the images together. So now with my scanner, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to turn the scanner this around the other way, the opposite way, and I'm putting it up there. Okay, so I'll go back here now. As you can see, only half the image is scanned. So I'm going to bring up my pick scan icon there. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to use the scanner again. And I'll pick the scanner part there and import pick scan image and we do that process again. It's usually very quick. Now you have the option of using your phone and calibrating that. I tried doing that and calibration is a real pain in the butt with a phone. But you can use your smartphone, take a picture and upload it to your computer. But it just doesn't work. So what this is, I think using a scanner is much better. So now as you can see, the images are now up here. And, I'll, and they're done. See that? So that's upside down, but that, that's your pick scan image. So now we can turn off our printer, which is what I'm going to do. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut this out with my silhouette. So bear with me for one moment. I will set that all up and we will begin the cutting and tracing process. Okay, so now I have now my pick scan mat already loaded into my silhouette machine I have the old model but it will still work for versions silhouette uh, sorry cameo one two and three um, with the number four I think there is a known issue with the newer edition of the software where it doesn't recognize scanners as much so that's something that silhouette has to work through so please excuse all of the shadows behind but I hope you understand what I'm doing I'm going to uh, trace, so I'm going to press select trace area and I'm going to trace all of the images now that I want this, the silhouette to trace. So I'm going to put that up there. So that's what it's going to encompass. With the threshold, that is going to go up, if you can see that. until there's a nice clean image around all of the see that that's too much so I'm going to maybe increase the high pass filter I'll see what happens there. not too much go down what I'll do is I will select the trace area on sorry oops all right get rid of that I'm going to do it one bit at a time. So I'm going to do this area here first. Okay. Then I'm going to increase the threshold. So you can see that all the way there. Till it's quite clean. And then I'm going to say trace outer edge and it will provide some cut marks. See all these red marks? I'm going to right click release compound path and I'm going to get rid of the bits and pieces I don't want. So I just don't want these bits here. Now do um, an offset. So I'll just click on the, sorry, off the offset button there. And I'm going to do an offset and I'm going to reduce the offset so it has a slight border around it. So as you can see that. So I'll do that. I'll get rid of the internal bits and pieces I don't want. Oops. Get rid of those. So I'll continue to do this and then I'll come back and show you 
how um, I will print and cut this okay so just bear with me for one moment so now what I have done is I've put an, an offset um, image there there's a couple of pieces I didn't see so I'm gonna get rid of those get rid of these oops just get rid of bits and pieces I don't need so all these red bits are what the, the um, machine recognizes to cut. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to put back, I'm going to release the compound path of this as well. Release compound path. And I get rid of bits that I don't want. So these tiny little dots, so I click out of that. Put this dot here, don't need these dots. Anything that's red, it cuts out. So that's my stamped image. Now this is the outline. It's like putting a die over the over it so now all of these are positioned exactly where I would like them so here's a close-up of how it's done okay so now I'm going to go over to my send silhouette and it says unavailable so I have to now switch it off and switch it on again and it will cut around all of those images okay so just bear with me and I'll do that very quickly for you so now I've got my silhouette cameo ready and I'm going to press send and you're going to see it now cut out oh yeah press send here <laughs> all right. so here it is now I'm going to cut it all out So what it's doing is these little dots here mat, um, recognize the mat and it's it's quite a noisy little machine but it does such a great job. So you're going to watch this now cut out. Okay so it's finished now so I'm just going to unload the mat, I'm just going to press unload and out it comes. So now I'll take you over to the desk and we'll start crafting. Finish cutting all of our images. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel off all of the cardstock. Now this is quite a sticky mat. Um, I had a lot of frustration with this mat by trying to use my smartphone to, um, to cut these uh, stamped images out. But um, since discovering that you can use your regular scanner you don't even need a large format scanner this has been life-changing for me I just love it so that's all of my images now so I'm going to use my little spatula and you will see how cool that is and that is done using your printer scanner I've got a multi-function uh, printer but check that out how cool is that so I'm just going to peel all of these off the mat so I've just finished now peeling off all of the images so it's like you went and did a die cut yourself so that's how that turned out now this did the best it could so it's a little bit um, it's a little bit bumpy this one because of those ex it picked up all of those extra lines there whoops a bit too close there it picked up all these lines that so made an outline of that but I think overall the silhouette cameo with the pick scan mat did a fantastic job and here's another one close up and this is using your stamped images okay so I'm I'm thrilled with this result um, and you can use your ordinary scanner and that's that's the best part of it all and you don't have to buy a $600 machine here in Australia anyway to do that the brothers quite expensive they've got issues with the mat from what I've read because I was considering buying it. Now that I know I can use my printer already and I use my silhouette, I'm set. So for stamps such as these that don't have dies, this comes in extremely handy. So I am thrilled with it. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be colouring all of these images. I don't need one of the birds, so I'll keep one of the birds to the side. But for all the other ones, I'm going to uh, colour them all in. I'm going to be using my watercolour pencils with my um, blender pens and um, I'll show you that process but I will speed it up and add music so enjoy.
finished um, colouring in all of my bits and pieces. In the end, I did change my mind with that one and I didn't go with that one, but I will keep it for another project. So that's all done and dusted. So I hope you enjoyed um, the, the silhouette part of it and kind of think outside the square with your... Um, with your equipment. Um, you can use Stampin' Up! with a lot of things, um, not just with, you know, that, their own bits and pieces, but you can expand out. So I'm just going to sort of blend that out a bit more. And I'll use, I'll either use it or not use it. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm now going to bring in my card base. So I'm going to add the overlay on there and I'm going to grab my glue and my tweezers and um, I will sh uh, put this all together so just bear with me for a second. So I'm just going to glue down my overlay and I'm going to use the whisper white section of it so I'll just, um, just strategically put glue all over um, the bottom of that. rub it all the way down and especially around like the outside on the perimeter of that die cut okay and I'm going to stick that down here just grab a tissue because um, the glue is showing so I'll just quickly grab a tissue Just pat that dry. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Bump everything whilst I'm at it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just quickly dab that on with a tissue. And that looks so beautiful already. So what I'm planning on doing is adding that with this. And... I don't think it needs anything more actually. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do, if anything, is add either a square. I've got my stitch shapes dies, and I can do one of two things. I can add a circle, and I can add this along here, and then I can add a few more little leaves and things down the bottom here as well. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut the largest circle with my big shot. So I'll bring that up. I'm going to cut that out. So that's all done. Let's take this away. So that's my circle die cut already. Put that away. And then I think I'll add that to the middle there. And then I can add this bit um, with this actually. Hmm. I might trim this off. Just bear with me. I'll bring in my scissors and I'll do a little bit of trimming. Just so I'll just bring my paper snips and I'm just going to trim along the bottom here. Um, I'll trim this here too. Okay, that looks a lot better. So I'm going to add this on top here like so. And I think that's all it needs. Um, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> um, with these other ones, we can certainly add more of these bits and pieces up here. And I suppose down here. And we'll add those little bud ones up the top here too. And down here. And I think I'll grab one of the smaller ones and put that over there. 
I'll leave the bigger ones for another project. And about down here. I'll bring that up close so you can see it. I think that looks so pretty that I'm going to keep it as is. So I'm just going to glue everything right down. Um, I'm just loving the way this has turned out. So... look at that how gorgeous is that so I'll stamp the inside of the card so I'll just grab my um, <clears throat> inside panel I'm going to take off all of the stamps I don't need so I'm going to stamp the bird again I'm going to ink the bird up with some grey granite And that's all done. Pick that up, clean this off. Okay, so that's now the um, inside panel all done. I'm going to now um, just glue that down. So this is my finished card for today. How beautiful did that turn out? Gorgeous. And I like the die cuts. Admittedly, I could have put a smaller border around it, but I don't really mind. This, is, this has turned out really nicely for me. And that's the inside of the card. And I absolutely love that overlay from the botanical product medley. I'll just show you this. It's on page, I think it was 61. Yes, page 61. So it's the Botanical Prints product medley. So that's on page 61 of the catalogue. And it comes with these overlays. So I used the white part of that and I think it turned out spectacular. I absolutely love the way this has turned out. And um, I hope this gives you ideas if you happen to own the Silhouette Cameo and you have the pic scan mat and you've had issues with it calibrating with your smartphone. I just find calibrating it with the smartphone a giant pain in the butt. I'm going to be quite honest there. I don't like it, but if you use it with your printer scanner or just a scanner generally, you will have wonderful results with your stamps. Um, I don't I won't be using my silhouette with all of my stamps it's basically the ones that don't have dies um, this comes in very handy of course you can uh, choose to use that any way you wish I'm not going to tell you how to do it but for me personally um, any stamp sets that don't have dies I will be using my silhouette cameo and cutting them out just kind of like the same way that you would use your brother scan and cut if, if you happen to know it um, own it and I know that a lot of crafters do own that machine as well but it's cheaper to buy the Silhouette Cameo as is now at $3.99 here in Australia and $28.99 for the PicScan mat. And you can do so much more with the Silhouette and the um, programming that is amazing. Um, you have a lot of options. So I hope you enjoyed me showing you something a little different today. 
if you have any questions um, or you would like me to do any further tutorials on anything, let me know. I'm more than happy to accommodate. Just give me a buzz. All right, guys. Please like, uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And um, I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. And in these uncertain times where we may have to be in lockdown because of the coronavirus, um, until this all settles, crafting is a great way to pass your time at home. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.